Hi, I'm Romy Cordier, and we're here today with artist Judy Bergali. How are you, Judy? Hi, Romy. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for inviting us into your home. Sure. So behind me is one of my favorite paintings that Judy has done. It's called Barbie in Hollywood. She's in Hollywood. She's in Hollywood, <laughs> and she's so stunning. I have been a fan of Judy's work for years. And um, tell me a little bit about this painting, Judy. I know it's very special to you. Um, uh, well, I wanted to... <clears throat> I paint Barbie, and so I wanted to put her in a, a classic vintage background, and I thought her outfit looked very Hollywoodish, uh -huh. and so I I thought that Sid Groman's Chinese Theater would be a really good backdrop for her. Uh -huh. You know, she's just sort of walking along, yeah, and strolling Hollywood Boulevard, and <laughs> if only the tourists look this good when they come to town. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. She's so glamorous and so elegant. Yeah, and so I kind of wanted a, a dusky uh -huh. evening setting, and I it was a big feat. This painting was really, really hard to do. It was very tedious, and there's a lot of detail in it. It was fun. Some parts were great, and other parts were just, oh my God, I, I, I didn't even think I could finish it. It was wow. a gigantor. It took you several months to paint this, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I've painted a little bit myself also, and I know that to create this gradation of color in the sky is really, really difficult. So yeah. share that process with me a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, well, I wanted to do the sky in one, one sweep. Uh -huh. I know that sounds easy, but it was really hard. So the day before, I mixed all the colors, and I would have the colors lined up. Uh -huh. So the darker ones lined up, and then it would get, you know, depending on the color, lighter and lighter, and then a little bit more pinky, uh -huh. sunset-ish. And so the next day I would come in and do the background. And I do the background first, so it was the sky first. Okay. And um, I laid it down with bristle, and then I blended with sable. Brush. It's really stunning because to even to be up close, it's so hard to see the gradation of color from the light into the to the dust color. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what I love about California is the beautiful night sky. And you beautifully captured it there. And I'm also a big architecture fan, and I love this whole chinoiserie thing. And these details in the roof there are just really, really specific and really elegant. Yeah, I started from the left. I go from the left to the right, so I did all the detail in just in increments of sections because I wanted to get the color right. And even the um, Chinese neon sign, I wanted it to glow, so I used colors that popped more. Well, and even on that side too. And you paint from seven tubes of color, correct? Yes. So you, she mixes everything from these seven tubes and creates this whole, whole palette, which is so smashing. Mm. And of course, I love the way the light uh, here looks like it's coming forward and it's brighter here with these yellow tones and how the neon kind of comes forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, it's so magical. And this, this use of red orange up here too is, yeah. is so beautiful. And to get back to mixing the colors, it's just, that's just how I was taught. And it uh -huh. really helps you to see what you're painting. Okay. So in plus, because there's so many different colors, you can't just get one color out of one tube. So I it's always, I was always mixing and mixing and mixing. Um, and you've been painting for 15, 16 mm -hmm. years? And this painting you finished in 2003? Mm-hmm. That's great. I, saw, I happened to notice the, um, the date on the back, so I didn't realize it was that long ago. I've known Judy for, what, 15 years or something? A little longer, uh -huh. Yeah, a little longer. So um, I actually went to one of her shows in Malibu uh, many, many years ago, and that was when I first got to see your work. Mm -hmm. And I don't recall if this one was in it or not in that show. It was in it. It was. It was in it. And I have been in love with it forever. And so, um, but Judy wasn't actually willing to sell it at that time. So she's kept it in her personal collection, and I think she's really close to letting it go because I mm -hmm. might be taking this home today if all goes well. Um, but she's famous for painting Barbie, and um, though she chooses Barbie from 19... I start 1959 to 1970. 1970 I okay. like the vintage clothes. And the clothes, and yeah. also her face is a little different in terms of shape there too, right? Um, yeah, they started to... Her face, she, they didn't show teeth. Okay. In the vintage Barbies. They started okay. doing that like in the, I think it was the late 70s, early 80s, where okay. it's just teeth. And I just thought it, it, it kind of made her more chintzy. Uh -huh. And so the older Barbies are more classic. <laughs> and they have just, it's like she's just self-confident. 
Well, and also I love the way that you've created this hat. This whole fur <laughs> thing there is yeah. so smashing. Every little brushstroke of hair. And on some of your other paintings as well, you've got some other ones where she's wrapped in fur. And to see the fur yeah, coming off her collar. behind collins, her and all around So her. lovely. And there's actually another painting sitting over here in front of us too that Judy's in the process of working on. Um, it has a beautiful teal background. Um, what era is this one from or what year is she from She's here? 1959. Wow, so beautiful. Yeah, and teal. The, the thing that's so great about Judy's work also is that it actually looks like you're looking at a plastic doll. Her use of color, the way she creates this roundness here with the highlight and the shadow, um, you almost feel like you're looking at the actual doll. It's really, really remarkable. Mm -hmm. So, And I love the seams in her arms and stuff. Um, yeah, you don't see it on this one here, but you do see it on this one down below here too. Yeah, some of the pieces <coughs> that I work on, I, I show the seam of the plastic. Yes. And some people really love seeing that. But sometimes when I put clothes on her, it, it covers her plastic joints or whatever. That's right. Yeah. Well, I just feel um, very special that I get to come to Judy's home today and uh, see this in person. And I think this will be maybe in the back of my Jeep when I go home today. And uh, yeah. we'll bring it into our lives. And um, I, I can't thank you enough for sharing it with us. You're sure. so talented. Thank you. And Judy can be found online at judyregali.com. She actually has paintings for sale, jaclays, and I think there are some pillows with your, um, your works yeah, on Yeah, you them. could get those out in Palm Springs. Great. Yeah. Perfect place for Barbie is in Palm oh, Springs. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us today. And I am Romy Cordier, and this is Art for Living.